grew up on a hobby farm near Acton, Ontario. I grew up with horses and dogs on this farm and uh, looking back I think it was a really good place to grow up. There's a lot of natural beauty and I actually think it helped with my um, songwriting development because there was nothing else to do. <laughs> so I say that I'm fine and I swear I mean that most of the time. A couple of years ago, I sent some of my music to Perez Hilton, not really thinking that I would ever hear back. I'm sure he gets a million emails a day, so I didn't think he was going to write me back at all. I'm excited to walk the red carpet with a Canadian singer and songwriter named Daryl London, so I'm, I'm thrilled that she gets to be a part of this experience with me. And she's a Toronto girl, right? She is from Toronto, and she will be performing at my party tonight as well. I find that things lead to other things. You know, I've worked with him and he has supported me on his, his site. You know, it opened so many doors for me. You know, I'm this small town girl from a farm in Acton, selling my CD off stage and out of my car. And then he posted about me and all of a sudden people in Asia and Australia and Europe know my music. Sorry if you wonder why I haven't written you a song. Could you try and understand? It takes me pretty long. The coolest club I've ever played at would definitely have to be the Troubadour. You know, being on a stage that you know um, Joni Mitchell has played at, Bob Dylan, just being in the room alone is kind of a cool vibe. And I, I was initially excited because it was the first time I'd ever had a dressing room. But then I, I was very nervous. It was a Hollywood crowd. The security guy told me that the crowds are incredibly tough, which I was thinking, why are you telling me this? I'm already nervous. But the audience was actually amazing. They were super supportive, so it was a good show. So call me up in the middle of the night again. Oh, say love, it's getting too heavy. Chantelle heard some of my songs online and sent me an email and it was the nicest email about, you know, she feels this connection because we're both Canadian singer-songwriters, play piano, and she ended the email with, do you want to try writing together? He doesn't know what he's got, he doesn't see the tears well up in your eyes. My first instinct was just to be terrified. Say love, it's getting too heavy to carry. But she's such a pro and she's so good at putting people at ease. And a couple of minutes in, I just completely relaxed. So she co-wrote three songs on the album and uh, on Sayla she produced and sings backups. He doesn't love you. The fact that Chantel Kravyatsik, this like powerhouse talent, is singing backups on my song is just so backwards and insane and wrong, but I'm obviously so grateful. In my dream, I'll hit the road and drive to the sea. With my house on my back, I'll be free, 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 free. I got the call that I was chosen to play at Lilith Fair and chosen by Sarah McLaughlin. Sarah McLaughlin just heard my sound check. Isn't that insane? This whole experience is so overwhelming, but really, really exciting. The audience was amazing and it was pouring rain, but I still had the best time. Chantelle came and sang with me on the small stage. This is Canadian music royalty to my left. Oh, stop. <laughs> Chantelle Gabriasa is here. And then she completely surprised me and asked me to sing backups for her on the big stage. It was emotional when she sang with me on my set. 
But then when I was on the big stage, that was, I think, my favorite moment of all my whole career. You don't have to.